So we just landed a new campaign with a big advertiser. We're really not at liberty to talk about, you know, who the advertiser is, but let's just say it's a pretty recognizable brand. Ba da ba ba da. I'm loving it. It's McDonald's. So part of the campaign was a series of promotions in which we had to have company representatives go out and be on site and hand out coupons and promote the product and do a real grassroots marketing kind of campaign. That's right. And part of our job was to find the talent. To be or not to be. I mean, it was a bit of a challenge. It was perfectly honest. It's quite a challenge. Yeah. Whether it is nobler in the mind to suffer the slings and arrows of outrageous fortune. Whoa, 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 whoa. We need people that speak English. What you're doing right now, I don't know what it is, but it's not English. Yeah, we're not in Japan, samurai. This isn't a samurai outfit, this is- Next. I'm number 68. Some waiter showed up from Olive Garden, did Don Corleone from The Godfather. I'm gonna make you an offer. You can't refuse. What's that stuff in your mouth? Did you just come from the dentist? Some guy was talking about some movie called Pulp. Fiction? I've never seen it or even heard of it. When I lay my vengeance upon You might want to pull the fire alarm. Mrs. Robinson, you're trying to seduce me. Nobody in this room is trying to seduce you. The sun will come out tomorrow. She's adorable. Bet your bottom dollar that tomorrow. Do less. Maybe just go ahead and just I check can, check I into can, prison today. I can sing it better. I feel like you ate Annie. One guy came in and did the Karate Kid villain. I want him out of commission! Hated the audition and there's no way that guy has any belts. Mm -mm, that's right. Or pelts. Put him in a body bag! Whoa, whoa, whoa. You're not doing Chuck Norris? Number 51. I don't know if we're really at liberty to talk about the guy that did the Hannibal Lecter stuff. I ate his liver with some fava beans and a nice Chianti. <laughs> Stop making that face. Did you order the code red? Yeah, those two guys who came in and they did the few good men. You know what that audition could have used? A few good men. You can't handle the truth. That was an outward expression of a hemorrhoid. You had me at hello. You had me, I had you at hello. You had me at hello. You had me at hello. We didn't even say hi to each other. I'll do it like you're, eat, like you're eating sour grapes. More, more, more. She's like Renee Zwelker. I was the cause of all your world's problems. So we were told we were getting a stand-up comedian. All right, all right, thanks for coming out. How are you doing tonight? What? Can you hear me back there? <laughs> here, here, novel idea, be funny. All right, so where are you from? Where are you from, sir? Uh, here? I think she might have been a blind comedian. They don't, do they make those? Bond, James Bond. You're like 003. I'm number 41. So an Arnold Schwarzenegger impersonator showed up. I don't think he was right for this. I thought that guy was great. He didn't like him. He's not a tumor. He didn't have a tumor. I could have been a contender. No, you couldn't. I could have had. No, you couldn't. He's right. There's no chance in hell you're a contender. So some guy showed up in his pajamas and was angry about something? I'm mad as hell and I'm not going to take it anymore. I thought it was Dumbledore, but he, I don't know what not, that is either. Not that guy. Uh, number 43. How about when Brad Pitt came? Oh yeah, that's right. Brad Pitt's uglier younger brother. You do not talk about Fight Club. He said, I have a six pack. And then he said, it's in my backseat of my car. I swear, Mr. Cobb, I thought you was gonna die. So about your career in acting, you don't have one. It puts the lotion on the skin or else it gets the hose again. That guy that was doing the Silence of the Lambs thing? Nightmares for the next month? Check. I'd so hire me. So hard. Are you even acting right now? You don't know what pain is! How about a little fire, scarecrow? I really wish that I had a bucket of water for you right now. Yes. <laughs> yeah, there was two women that did a scene from When Harry Met Sally. Yes! 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 <laughs> I'll have what she's having. Let's see her do it. Is this heaven? No, it's a, it's a bad audition. I cannot believe that Richard Gere showed up for the audition. That was pretty awesome. Frankly, my dear, I don't give a damn. Did you leave uh, Julia Roberts in the uh, limo outside? 161. Get the fuck out of here. I loved you on Taxi, by the way. You were good in Taxi. Mom always said life's like a box of chocolates. Why do I feel like you actually do go sit at bus stops and talk to people and offer them chocolates with razors in them? Who's that guy? I hate soap operas. Act. Don Corleone. No, uh, better. Do it better. Do it better than that. And you hate big people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm a, I'm a tallest. All right. How you doing? Kind of nervous here to get this armor on. My girlfriend and I had a fight last night, and... This is not the audition you're looking for. 
This is not the audition I'm looking for. Move along. Move along. Move along. Apparently, you're a Jedi. You didn't already know that? Excuse me. <coughs> Got a little more there. It took a while for us to figure out why they weren't getting it. That one. You want to try this one? No, I'm sorry. That's got a bird, too. We had to tell them who the client was and what product it was that they would be selling in order for them to sort of understand how to do it. So we gave them some directional cues. We gave them some McDonald's notes, if you will. And we had them sort of try again. Gr Grimace as Samuel L. As... Right, right. Did you order the Big Mac? Ezekiel 25, 17. You had me at McNuggets? I'm gonna offer you a Happy Meal. And the tyranny of Burger King. That you can't refuse. Could switching to McDonald's really make you 15% fatter? I'll be back. Is the Grimace a big fat purple person? For a hot fudge sundae. I ate his liver. You do not talk. With some french fries. About the McChicken Club. And a large diet Coke. Love the smell of egg McMuffin in the morning. I'm mad as hell, and I'm not gonna eat Wendy's anymore. Puts the burger on the bun. If you supersize it, or else it mops the floor again, they will come. Put the burger on the bun. Pa 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 pa. I'm very hungry, and I'm going to get a whopper before this evening's over. Uh, that's the wrong sandwich, sir. <laughs> I'm loving it. Is there a reason I'm still holding these chocolates? He found me. I don't know how he did it, but he found me, Marty. Run for it! Who? Who found you? Grimace! So we discovered that it's really hard to find talented people. I mean, no one really nailed it. No one really nailed the audition. Well, we, we had one person that was kind of perfect for what we were looking for. But as the old saying goes, if you want it done right, you gotta do it yourself. Absolutely. I thought we really put our best foot forward with this campaign. Right, and we gave them diversity, too. We gave them an authentic portrayal of a really good grassroots marketing campaign. You know, we did everything they asked, and more. But at the end of the day, McDonald's dropped us. Well, they put the campaign on hold. Well, they're crazy. They said we took things too literally, and that we didn't really show any political correctness. I don't even know what that means. I, I, I don't really know what that means, either. I'm proud of it. I thought the campaign was dynamic and smart. Well, I'm gonna write a strongly worded letter to Ronald McDonald himself. Tell me, Monty, are the lambs still screaming? They are now. Absolutely. I love Ronald. I love him for his freakishly white face, for that red nose, the hair, the way he sits on that bench and welcomes you to sit next to him and take a picture with him. Oh, there's 742. 742 toothpicks. Better get these up. Hey, Clemens! You remember when I said I'd kill you last? I lied. The snakes, yes. Ugh, the snakes, the snakes. I'm tired of these motherfucking snakes on this motherfucking plane! Hans, Bubby, I'm your white knight, okay? I got this. That guy gets killed in that movie, so watch out. Yes! Yes! Wow! I thought I wanted what she was having. I don't. So uh, apparently the circus is in town. We had a uh, juggler show up, juggling oranges. Oranges. Oranges? Oranges. Aren't you glad I didn't say orange? There you go. I just pooped a little. Guys, I just got to, I really, I just don't understand what's going on here. I mean, you know, I mean, you, you understand I have conservatory training. Uh, you know, I studied at Juilliard. I mean, this is, you know. Do you have any fours? Pretty simple characters. Are. Go fish, sir. Do you think, you know what it's really about? It's about the communication from the director to the actor. And if you told me specifically what you guys wanted, I mean, you said Don Corleone, this is what I'm bringing. Uh, Can I get a side of uh, guacamole with that? Yeah, please. Actually, I don't think I want to be a part of this project. Thanks, thank you, I, I really appreciate it, guys. Thanks a lot, for nothing. My unemployment is about to run out. I really need this job. I'm desperate, I'll do anything for you. There is a uh, high school play coming up where you might be able to be a tree. Right. You I went to jail for me. You have a record right now. I do. Luckily, it's not a felony like the ones you have. Right. Well, I mean, I don't need to go near any schools. I'm older now. Hey, that's a good point. That's a good point.